In the final section, we'll look at a nonlinear semi-parametric assumption where we are assuming additive noise. So let's see what that is. Again, recall that we cannot hope to identify the graph more precisely than the Markov equivalence class in the linear Gaussian noise setting. But what if the structural equations are nonlinear? So here is this nonlinear additive noise assumption. For all variables, for all i, the structural equation that generates x sub i is a nonlinear function f sub i, so f sub i is nonlinear, function of the parents of the ith variable, plus some noise term here. Okay, so that's the nonlinear additive noise assumption. So importantly, this is additive. Under this assumption, and under the Markov assumption, the causal sufficiency assumption, acyclicity, and then this, this nonlinear additive noise assumption, as Moyd has mentioned, and then a technical condition from the paper where this comes from, which we won't get into. Under these assumptions, we can identify the causal graph, right? So we don't just get the Markov equivalence class, we get the precise graph, a single graph. But it's only the correct graph under this nonlinear additive noise assumption and the technical condition from their paper. Cool, so this seems a bit more flexible in the sense that we don't have to assume that the functional form is linear, it can be nonlinear now. But say you don't like that we're assuming this additive noise. Well, we can get that to be a bit more general. So you don't like additive noise. Then just kind of chuck in another function on the outside there. Right? So it's post nonlinear in the sense that it's this g comes after we've added we've added u here. But it's not quite additive noise in the sense that we also have this function of both of these after we've added it. Okay, so in this post nonlinear setting where you just have this function g, this function f, then you can get an identifiability result there as well. If you want to learn even more about causal discovery from observational data, here are three nice sources. So the first one is a review article from Frederick Eberhardt. The second one is another review article from some pretty big authors. So all three of these guys do a lot of research on this topic. I think this guy is the P in the PC algorithm. I think the P comes from, from this guy. So his first name starts with a P, Peter. And then this guy is the C in the PC algorithm, Clark. And then this guy just does a ton of papers on this topic. So, uh, yeah, so they all wrote a review paper together. And then the last resource on this list is a book called Elements of Causal Inference, where it's basically the only book on causal discovery from observational data. And we're lucky enough to have the first author on this book, Jonas Peters, give a guest talk in this course. So the next video that gets uploaded to the channel will be his guest talk, which will be in the full lectures playlist if you're looking at the playlist of smaller videos. It's not in that playlist. Playlist. It's in the full lectures one. If you want to get notified for that lecture or any stuff coming up in the future, any lectures, any other videos coming up in the future, then go ahead and hit the subscribe button below. And same with the bell icon next to it. If you have any good jokes about immoralities, go ahead and leave those in the comments below. Thanks for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Not that I can actually see you through your webcam or anything. I don't think the NSA cares enough about causal inference quite yet for that to be the case, but I don't know what time you're watching this lecture in the future.